بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سیکنڈ ایئر آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس ود یو دی ہسٹولوجی آف دا یورینری سسٹم ٹوڈے سو مین آبجیکٹو آف دا لیکچر از ٹو ڈسکرائب دی پیرن کائما آف دی کڈنی اینڈ لسٹ دا ڈفرنٹ کمپوننٹس آف دی یورینفرس ٹیبولس اینڈ ڈسکرائب دا ہسٹولوجیکل فیچرز آف رینل کارپسلس اینڈ دین ڈسکس دی فلٹریشن بیریئر سو فرسٹ دس از اے ڈائگرام فرام دا یورینری سسٹم اٹ شوز یو دیٹ اٹ کنسسٹ آف دی two paired kidneys and uh, then draining the urine through the ureter into the urinary bladder and then widening through the urethra so so main organ of the excretory system it is the kidneys the main organ of excretory system and is built of billions of the little tubes called the nephrons at the beginning of each nephron web of the capillaries Mm, release much water and other molecules into the nephron so urine is collected in a urinary bladder and when it fills up it is excreted via urethra into the outside environment so kidney uh, is the main organ system this is a general structure of the kidney and you can see uh, in the fur freshly cut specimen the outer darker area is called the cortex and inner much lighter colored area is called the Uh, medulla the kidney are highly vascular organs and they receive nearly 25% of the cardiac output they produce urine initially a glomerular ultra filtrate of the blood that is the primary urine which is then modified by the selective reabsorption so kidney in addition to the urine production it has many other endocrine uh, functions like synthesis and secretion of the glycoprotein hormone called erythropoietin then the formation and secretion of the renin and the hydroxylation of 25 hydroxy vitamin d3 into 125 dihydroxy vitamin d3 so the general structure kidney is a bilobed structure okay and uh, it's a bean shape located retroperitoneally on either side of the spinal cord at upper pole of each kidney we are having the uh, in the re- embedded in the renal fascia are the adrenal glands this is the medial side of the kidney and this is the lateral convex area of the kidney the medial side of the kidney is called the hilum and here the hilum uh, the ureter uh, is present which is connected uh, to the hilum through the renal pelvis the outer part is the medulla which receives uh, outer part is the cortex which receives most of the blood supply of the kidney uh, nearly 90 to 95% of the blood entering into the kidney is present in this outer area called the renal cortex remaining uh, 10% of blood is present in the uh, renal pyramids or uh, in the medulla in the renal pyramids you can see multiple uh, triangular cup shaped structures called the par- pyramid and then the uh, papilla where the apex of the pyramid is present and base of the pyramid is facing towards the medul- uh, renal cortex each kidney is covered by the capsule the two distinct layers of the capsules are present outer layer of the fibroblast and collagen fibers and inner layer of the myofibroblast these are actually these uh, myofibroblast which resist the uh, uh, over pressure in the kidney and swelling of the kidney in cases of the hydronephrosis so internal structure of the kidney the outer part of the kidney is the cortex The, this is the reddish brown area it consists of renal corpuscles along with convoluted tubules and straight tubules of the nephron the collecting duct the collecting tubules and the extensive vascular supply so here you can see this is the outer area of the cortex which lies just beneath the renal capsule and then the renal pyramids so medullary rays are the examination of the section cut through the cortex at an angle perpendicular to the surface of the kidney reveals a series of 
vertical striations that appear to emanate from the medulla. These striations are the medullary rays of the ferrin. Here you can see in the histological diagram in H and E stained section, there are number of the medullary rays are present. These medullary rays are starting from the medulla and they are present in the substance of the cortex as their name reflects. The striation seems to radiate from the medulla. And these medullary rays consist of aggregation of the straight tubules and the collecting ducts. 400 to 500 medullary rays are present. Each medullary ray is an aggregation of the straight tubules and the collecting ducts. So here you can see these are the medullary rays and these are the collection of the straight tubules, straight descending and straight descending both and then the collecting ducts. Again there is another uh, straight uh, medullary ray. In between these medullary ray you can see this yellow colored structured area which is called the cortical labyrinth. These are the regions between medullary rays which are containing renal corpuscles you can see here the renal corpuscles the convoluted tubules the collecting tubules and the collecting ducts so these are the areas which are called the cortical labyrinth and these are the areas which are called medullary rays so you can see in between these two medullary rays there is area which is called cortical labyrinth Medulla is the inner portion of the kidney. Here you can see the medulla. It is characterized by the straight tubules, collecting ducts and the special capillary network and vasa recta. Pyramids, the tubules in the medulla because of their arrangement and differences in length collectively form number of the conical structures called pyramids. So here you can see different pyramids. The triangular shaped divisions of the medulla of the kidney. So renal, what are the renal columns then? Renal column represent cortical tissue contained within the medulla. You can see this is the spillage of the small amount of spillage of the cortical tissue uh, in between the renal pyramids forming the renal columns. Then the papilla which is the narrow innermost tip of the pyramid. Next is the pelvis of the kidney. You can see here the pelvis of the kidney. It is an extension of upper end of the ureter. The tube drains the urine into the bladder. Next, the uh, calyx are present. Each calyx is a division of renal pelvis. Opening into each calyx is the papilla of the pyramid. Here you can see these are the papilla of the pyramid and these area are called the calyces. First, initially there are minor calyces, minor calyces then opening into major calyces and major calyces opening into the medulla. So what is the nephron? Then nephron is the basic structural and functional unit of kidney. Its chief function is to regulate the concentration of the water and soluble substances like sodium salts by filtering the blood, reabsorbing what is needed and excreted the, excreting the rest as urine. So nephron eliminates waste from the body, regulates the blood volume and blood pressure, controls levels of electrolytes and metabolites and regulates the blood pH. Its functions are vital to life and regulated by endocrine system by the hormones such as antidiuretic hormone, aldosterone and parathyroid. So nephrons are microscopic units of the kidney having two main parts, the renal corpuscles uh, having the Bowman's capsule with the glomerulus and the renal tubules. So here you can see in detail all of the parts of the nephron. So first of all, this is the renal corpuscle. It consists of the bunch of the capillaries forming the glomerulus entering through the renal or vascular to the vascular pole of the renal corpuscle. The efferent arteriole is entering and efferent arteriole is leaving the renal corpuscle. This bunch of capillaries or glomerulus is surrounded by the uh, Bowman's capsule and Bowman's space is the uh, these are the simple squamous epithelial cells which are surrounding this area. Next area to the renal corpuscle is the proximal convoluted tubules and it is much more convoluted. Then there is the thick descending segment 
of the proximal tubule then thin descending segment and then the loop of the inlay having a hair pin turn over here and then through this there is the ascending limb of the loop of inlay then thick ascending segment and then the uh, proxim distal convoluted tubules this distal convoluted tubule then have a turn towards its own renal calf muscle forming the macular densa and then it is connected to the collecting duct either by connecting tubules or by an arched connecting tubules these collecting ducts then combine to form the larger ducts which are called the duct of the bellini which then enters into the minor calyx you can see the different types of epithelia in each part of the nephron in the renal corpuscle the bowman space is surrounded by the simple columnar epi uh, simple squamous epithelia then this part which is the renal uh, proximal convoluted tubules you can see the larger cells which are large cuboidal cells simple uh, cuboidal epithelium these cells having the basal uh, striations as well as the striated borders there are the large number of the profiles in cross section of the um, renal cortex because uh, there are more this this uh, part of the nephron is much more convoluted than the distal part so in the cross section you will see much uh, more profiles of the proximal convoluted tubules then the descending limb again initially having the simple cuboidal epithelium and in the thin segment it become the simple squamous epithelium in the loop of henle again the simple squamous epithelium and ascending thin limb you will see again the simple squamous epithelium then the next part is the thick ascending segment and the distal convoluted tubules both having the uh, simple cuboidal epithelium which is connected through the connecting duct or connecting tubule to the collecting tubules and these collecting tubules are lined by the simple cuboidal epithelium and here is the duct of the bellini which is also lined by the uh, large sizes either simple large cuboidal epithelial cells or the simple columnar epithelium each duct of bellini uh, opens into the minor calyx the area is called the area cribrosa because it is a cribriform area in appearance so you can see this is the area the uh, cribrosa where large ducts of bellini open and in cross section you can also see many ducts opening into this area this is the cribriform area that's why it's given the name the area cribrosa again in this slide you can see this is the cross section of the kidney the outer area is cortex inner area is medulla having the renal pyramids the minor calyces the major calyces the renal pelvis pelvis and the ureter here you can see the different sections of the nephron different parts of the nephron this is the renal corpuscle the proximal convoluted tubule proximal the thick straight segment thin descending segment loop of henle thin ascending segments and this distal convoluted tubules and the connecting and collecting tubules so now we will discuss the different uh, types of the nephrons which are present in the uh, substance of the kidney according to their location so first are the cortical or subcapsular nephrons these nephrons their renal corpuscle is located just beneath the capsule they have a short descending segment which just reach to the outer stripe of the outer medulla and then the juxta medullary uh, type of the nephron nephrons which are present just at the junctions of the cortex and the medulla they have a very long loop of henle reaching nearly up to the tip of the pyramid and then ascending back to its original segment and third type according to location are intermediate between these two types so another topic uh, we have in the learning objective we are having the filtration apparatus of the kidney in the renal corpuscles so glomeruli are surrounded by the bowman's capsules you can see in this diagram these are the tuft of the capillaries and this is the bowman space and this bowman space having a two layer the glomerular capsule having the two layer the one layer is the parietal layer which is simple squamous epithelium and other layer is the visceral layer of the podocytes and these podocytes are surrounding the uh, blood vessels 
forming the filtration barrier. So glomerulus surrounded by Bowman's capsule containing filtration apparatus of the kidney. The Bowman's capsule are the cup shaped top of the nephron. It is sac like Bowman's capsule that surround the glomerulus and glomerulus uh, is a network of the blood capillaries tucked into Bowman capsule. Here again important thing you can see the two ends of the uh, renal carpuscle. This pole is called the vascular pole of the renal carpuscle. Here you can see the efferent arteriole coming inside the uh, Bowman space and efferent arteriole leaving the Bowman space and then the distal convoluted tubule which is forming the macular densa over here. This pole is called the urinary pole from where the proximal convoluted tubules starts. So histology of the Bowman uh, space is the cells of the outer or parietal layer of the Bowman's capsule as I, I have shown you in the previous slide are the simple squamous epithelial cells and cells of inner layer are the podocytes you can see these are the podocytes which are surrounding the blood vessels these are forming a visceral layer they are extremely complex in shape small foot like processes are present which are again divided to form smaller pedicles and of their cytoplasm form fenestrated epithelium around the fenestrated capillaries of the glomerulus so these are the different uh, podocytes you can see the processes and the processes then again divide to form the pedicles this is the slide showing the different renal corpuscles. This is the renal glomerular basal lamina and this is the again another glomerular basal lamina. The inner, on the inside you can see the blood vessels. This is the glomerular basement membrane and on outer side you can see the food process of the endothelial uh, podocytes are present. Here you can see this is the mesangium present in the kidney this is the connective tissue area of the kidney the mesangial cells are present in this area here you can see the endothelial cells which is lining the inside of this space and forming the filtration barrier part of the filtration barrier so what actually the filtration slits are these are opening between the pedicles are called the filtration slits they are spanned uh, by a thin membrane, the filtration slit membrane and the between the podocytes and endothelial cells of the capillary comparatively thick basal lamina. You can see here, this is the thick basal lamina which is present in uh, between on the one side you are having the blood vessel and the, on the other side you are having the podocyte which are forming the visceral layer of the Bowman space. So these are the small slits which are covered by the slit diaphragm and here you can see the venous epithelium the large fenestry are present between the endothelial cells again this lamina the also called the basal lamina is divided into outer lamina externa middle lamina densa and then inner lamina interna the electron micrographic uh, picture of the filtration slit apparatus uh, you can see this is the glomerular basement membrane this side uh, shows the endothelial cells and the large fenestry present in between endothelial cells these are the food processes are the podocyte uh, particles present and in between these particles here you can see the slit diaphragm as well so mesangial cell in glomerulus forms the connective tissue that gives structural support to podocytes and vessels. Again, another very beautiful diagram, the enlarged view of the uh, filtration slit appearance. Here you can see the three lamina of the glomerular uh, basal, uh, basal lamina, the inner densa and two outer lamina rara externa. And here you can see the endothelial side and the podocytes, the filtration, the slit diaphragm and the uh, large fenestry between the endothelial cell. So juxtaglomerular apparatus is the next topic. It is formed there by the macular densa, the juxtaglomerular cells and extraglomerular mesangial cells. And we will discuss this in the next lecture, inshallah. So here we will finish this class. Thank you so much for joining. Allah Hafiz.